Hi, Christian. How are you doing? Hi, Avery. Hi, Isaac. Hi, Carly. Hi, Victoria. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? So I have a few questions to ask you um, about why you're coming to Create Equal for the summer internship. I would like you to tell me a little bit about your backstory and how you got involved in protecting the preborn. Yeah, so my family has always been pro-life, so I grew up knowing what abortion is, and I remember always just praying for the little babies with my family. So I actually didn't know anything about abortion at all until about a year and a half ago, and I kind of just got involved with it kind of right away. I pushed myself into it. My boyfriend introduced me to basically the entire issue. I guess it kind of started when I saw victim imagery for the first time when I was like 10 or 11. It really hit me um, then when I saw that, that this was happening in America. It is a few outreaches, very low key, um, non-confrontational, ineffective outreaches that helped soothe my conscience that I was doing something. I just know that I can't sit back and do nothing and I can't pretend I didn't know about abortion. And I know I'll be held accountable for my action or inaction. Um, and so the summer internship was kind of a great next step. I'm taking it um, further now as an adult. <laughs> Since there are so many other pro-life or anti-abortion organizations, why do you choose to come um, intern with us this summer at Created Equal? Um, I, I especially like Create Equal's approach to how they like they do the outreaches. I've worked with Create Equal in the past, um, and their training is just very well done. Um, they teach you the truth uh, very clearly, and then they just send you out. And I think that's a really good thing that they're doing, teaching young people um, pro-life apologetics and how to um, engage people. The Lord was tugging on my heart to um, be a bit more um, courageous and do things that would be more effective. So I found your outreaches online. Well, I met some Create Equal interns last summer when I was on a different mission trip um, with the pro-life movement and I really liked Create Equal's mission and how bold they are. So usually summers are spent um, relaxing or having a summer job, um, but you have chosen to spend your summer protecting the preborn. So why are you doing that? I don't know, I can't really picture myself spending my time doing anything else, to be honest. Any excuses I had for why I had like better things planned, I just know there's nothing better I could do with my summer, and someone has to stand up and fight for justice, and most people aren't. If I had the choice to get money and serve people food to make them happy, or to defend the people that are being murdered every single day, I would choose this much, much more. It just didn't feel right to live a normal summer when I knew so many babies were dying every day and I could have an impact. It was kind of like, man, I, I should probably do this. And uh, the Lord led me to do it. Time is very valuable and there's no other way I'd rather use my summer because if I'm just working a job and it doesn't have meaning, What's the purpose of doing it? When I compared those two, I knew that I could just not spend my summer sitting down relaxing um, when there were innocent babies being killed every single day. We can't just like take a break from our responsibilities. What are you hoping to take away from the summer internship? I'm hoping to take away a lot of leadership qualities and just being able to engage in conversations more easily and having a lot more knowledge as I am the president of the, our pro-life organization at my college now. To be able to share what I've learned with other people, because not everyone can do internships like this, is gonna help me act justly to defend the pre-born. And it isn't just gonna make us think less of ourselves, but it's not gonna make us think of us ourselves at all. And that is ultimately what humility is. I don't just want the internship to be the internship and whatever happened in it stays in it. I want to learn um, and have experiences that'll carry out throughout the rest of my life that I'll be able to use um, in the future. And I know I'll just learn so much more and be challenged so much more and I'm so excited for that. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. We're so excited to welcome our incoming class of interns and I wanted to invite you to follow them all summer long as they learn to defend preborn babies. You can follow their journeys online at Created Equal on Facebook, at Create Equal Org on Twitter, 
and at createqualorg on Instagram. You can also come meet these new defenders in person at our second annual Day of Action. You are invited to join the whole Create Equal team here in Columbus, Ohio on June 28 and 29 as we work together to reach hearts, change minds, and save lives. Whether you're an experienced pro-life activist or you've never done this kind of work before, this event is designed for everyone to equip individuals and families with all that they need to save babies and fight against abortion. You can learn more about this event and sign up at createequal.org slash day of action. We can't wait to see you there.